A day after the death of 22-year-old Margaret Njeri at Pandya Hospital in Mombasa, top security officials in Lamu have promised action against the perpetrator. Hile ni meangiza ni kwamba leo shalti awezi kukamatu na kufikishwa makamani araka wezi kanabe. Na kwa hivu mbila shak hiyo amri lazima itatekelezo. He however did not disclose the name of the officer who has reportedly been transferred from Peketoni sub-county to Kizingitini police station in Lamu. Uchunguzi wa kina umefanyika na tumeafikia kwamba uyo officer lazima akamatwe na ashitakiwe kwa mawaji. The said officer reportedly threw a gun at a border border rider in an attempt to force him to stop on the 17th of January after 6 p.m. The gun missed the target and hit Margaret on the head, causing her to fall and thereby sustaining head injuries. Lamu West MP Julius Ndegwa has faulted police in the area for turning the curfew into a cash cow and now wants it lifted immediately. This girl was trying to rush back to home where he met the police officers who are, who are corrupt and malicious, who are timing people who are getting to their homes to solicit funds. And I'm saying the curfew has been turned to a source of income to police of Lamu. This is extremely sad that the very same people who are supposed to protect life and property today are behind the killings and torture of Kenyans in this country. The death of Jerry has left the family with a heavy burden, a 2.5 million shillings bill at Pandya Hospital. Na pia kuna changamoto ingine ya kuwa lazima ataenda kwa postimoto ambao pia itagarimia pesa. Mpaka sasa mambo haya yote, sipitali inataka tukilie ili mwili uweze kuwa released. The family is disappointed at the slow pace of investigations into the matter. Peketoni watu wanahasira maana mpaka sasa hawajasikia huyo polisi ya mishikwa ama ni hatu wagani serikali mechukua mpaka sasa. All the family wants now is justice for Margaret Njeri was set to join university to study law. Peter Mongangi, NTV, Mombasa.